Hey everyone, I'm Wayne. I'm one of the product marketers here at Figma. I'll be going over how you can use FigJam to brainstorm with your team. You can either start a brainstorm from scratch, or you can browse through the Figma community and use one of the templates published here, like this one. We've actually filled out this template, so you can see an in-progress brainstorm with a mix of new ideas on how to feature new plants and improve the checkout experience on the Twigma website. You and your team can start jamming right away by grabbing a sticky note and jotting down your ideas. The way you add a sticky note in the file is by selecting it from the toolbar or typing S and clicking anywhere on the screen. Once it's added to the file, you can change the color. You can add text. I'll add my idea, plant of the week. And by default, sticky notes include the author so that you can easily follow up with folks about their ideas. Names can be hidden if preferred by using this authorship toggle. And let's say you're brainstorming and you're on a roll and you want to add a bunch of ideas, you can click these buttons, the plus button here, to add a new sticky note or use the command enter shortcut to add a bunch of stickies really quickly. I'll be going over some of the cool tools at the bottom of the screen here. So the first step is the marker. You can access it by pressing M or clicking below. You can change the width of the pen and the color. And I really like using this to make quick sketches like you'll see up here or to annotate ideas and I'm just going to draw an arrow pointing to mine. When you're brainstorming and you want to vote uh, and get people's ideas of what they think is best, you can do so with the stamp wheel. So if I click at the bottom of the screen here, I can access the stamp wheel or press E. And I can select a different range of stamps from a heart to a plus one button, or I can even use my own face to vote. Oh, someone has the same idea as me. So I love this idea clearly, and I want to emphasize that I really like it. If I click and hold down, the stamp will actually get larger to really emphasize how much I like this idea. Another way that you can react to people's ideas is through the emoji reaction wheel. So you can access it by clicking the toggle here or accessing it by pressing E twice. So this is really helpful for if someone is presenting and you want to just show your love for it. Um, let's say someone has a great idea and they're talking about it um, on a call. I can show that I love it. And next is actually my favorite feature, which is the cursor chat feature. So I can access it by typing forward slash or by clicking here on the wheel. I find this to be really helpful when I'm in a file with someone and I don't want to uh, jump on a call, but I want to say hi. Or if we are um, in a workshop and I have a question, instead of interrupting while someone's presenting, I can just type it out here and someone else can answer me. Or if the facilitator sees it, they can take a pause and answer my question. And this is uh, pretty ephemeral, so it'll disappear in a few seconds. This will disappear in a couple of seconds. You can also use components in FigJam. If you want to keep your libraries open, um, let's open it first. So click down here. If you want to keep these open, you can actually drag and pin it to either side of your board. And FigJam has created uh, some default components to help get you started. So we've worked with a couple of cool artists here. Um, I love using um, this start component to really get people's attention um, and so they get an idea of where they should actually be starting. You can add labels and indicate the status of a project. Um, we are done. Or I can even ask for my team's feedback.
You can also bring in your team's own design systems and use your own components. And the way that you do that is by um, clicking this plus button here. You can also access other libraries. You can press this plus button here and you'll see that these are some of the default libraries that we have enabled for FigJam. I want to use a library that my coworker Mickey created, so I'm going to add this to the file. And you'll see here that it's added and I can remove it if needed. And let me just access it, agenda. So he created this really cool um, clipboard for um, meetings, and so you can set an agenda and type out some notes. And the cool thing is, um, because it is a component, um, if it asks text, if I click on it, I can make adjustments. I have lots of thoughts. Um, and because it was built with auto layout, it'll still be able to work. Um, auto layout will still be able to work in VigJam, so this clipboard can go on forever. And another thing is that if a component is a variant, I can actually click and switch between variants just like I would in Figma. You can also copy designs over from a file. So um, this is really helpful for bringing in context. So for the checkout experience, if I want to show what our current checkout experience looks like, I can grab this screen. Um, but let's say I don't want people to make any changes to the text. I just want them to see it. I can actually lock this. And when I copy it over, if someone is trying to make changes to this, it'll be locked. But if I want to shorten this, because it's not locked, I can change this to info and I can make edits to designs. What I really love about this is you're able to provide more context through Brainstorm and bring in any in-progress designs, uh, which is um, always really helpful for me. So. Try out FigJam with your team for brainstorming and uh, let us know what you think. I find it to be a really fun way to brainstorm and I think it makes it possible for anyone to contribute and share their ideas. So I uh, would love to hear what you think. Thanks.